did you know? History books are lying. History books are lying. And Africa is not our home. Oh, oh my dear. Africa is not our home. Because the Indians were you. The Indians were you. The Indians were you. That's why. Finds himself in exile in his own land. His own land. So. You just want to claim a spot? For the whole thing. Because we were always here. We were always here. We were always here. Did you know? History books are lying. History books are lying. Africa is not our home. Oh my dear. Africa is not our home. Because the Indians were you. The Indians were you. Finds himself in exile in his own land. His own land. So. You just want to claim a spot? For the whole thing. Because. We were always here. We were always here. We were always here. We were always here. Welcome to the Aboriginal channel. On this episode, we're going to be correlating the whereabouts and location of Atlantis, the sunken island. So this book, Atlantis, the Antediluvian World by Ignatius Donnelly from 1882. This book is an attempt to demonstrate several distinct and novel propositions. These are that there once existed in the Atlantic Ocean opposite the mouth of the Mediterranean Sea, a large island which was the remnant of an Atlantic continent and known to the ancient world as Atlantis. That the description of this island given by Plateau is not as has been long supposed fable, but, but veritable history. That Atlantis was the region where man first rose from a state of barbarism to civilization. That it became in the course of ages a populous and mighty nation from whose overflowings the shores of the Gulf of Mexico, the Mississippi River, the Amazon, the Pacific coast of South America, the Mediterranean, the west coast of Europe and Africa, the Baltic, the Black Sea and the Caspian were populated by civilized nations. Pause. Let's just go back here and say, you see where it's overflowing. It says Gulf of Mexico, the Mississippi River, the Amazon, the Pacific coast of South America. Okay, that's all of where we all basically come from. But it says the mouth opposite the mouth of the Mediterranean Sea. On a map from this book, America being the latest and most accurate description of the New World containing the original of the inhabitants, we can see these big cluster of islands here right within this map from that book we first want to take a look at how populated the western hemisphere is see all these little words written so close together down in the islands and all over the southern part in california and northeastern part of the united states compared to the western part of africa see how unpopulated it is but basically, this little piece right here, where the cursor is moving at, that's the mouth of the Mediterranean Sea. So if you go right here, these islands right here, is the remnant of Atlantis, right? So let's put that down and go find a map. Now, this is the Mediterranean Sea. Okay. So we have, this is the east coast of America, Florida, the island. Up here is uh, New England, Massachusetts, Maine, New Hampshire. 
then if you look right here this is the mouth that's the mouth of the Mediterranean so right here would have been Atlantis which is exposed to us in the map from the book America being the latest and most accurate description of the new world containing the original of the inhabitants bam there is nothing right there on this map through the history books which has all been a lie so therefore if it's a lie then what's the truth if it's a lie then what's the truth